Today we're going to discuss about Microsoft development tools. Development is not just writing code. The tool we use is equally important. Sometimes the word experience means familiarity with some specific tools in the industry. This will help the programmer not only leverage his efforts but also understanding and handling huge card bases. These are the tools which we're going to look. Visual Studio, the Windows Driver Development Kit, the Windows Software Development Kit and Debugging Tools for Windows. All these tools are freely downloadable. Only Visual Studio has some versions which are not free but we will be using the free version of Visual Studio. So what is Visual Studio? So Visual Studio is an integrated development environment or an IDE. So what is an IDE? It is nothing but a text editor like Notepad but with additional functionalities. So following are some of the additional functionalities it has. Code coloring so you will see different keywords, identifiers and all those um, tokens if you will in different color cards in Visual Studio. Another very good feature called IntelliSense. So basically when you type something it will auto-complete. So Visual Studio will predict what you're going to type and it will complete it. Then the debugger, compiler, linger, all integrated to Visual Studio. Then something called resource editor which will help you to drag and drop controls and double click and do programming. Build and execution of the program so by a single click you can execute the program Visuals will help, which will help you to develop and introduce a lot of boilerplate code into your application when you start with some um, new applications. So this is Visual Studio. So what I have done is I have gone to start program files, Microsoft Visual Studio, and started the IDE. So in this we can see so many features up here in the menu. Um, I have some extra tools installed as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new application, a Hello World C application. gonna name it as 2010 click OK so this is called VZ so welcome to Win32 application VZ. VZ is nothing but a set of dialog boxes in which you can click next 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 if you want to change some option you can change so I'm gonna go with the default and I'm gonna press finish This particular wizard is not going to generate too much code for me because I have not selected the um, required options. So this is a very little um, main application. So I'm going to do a hello world. To execute this application, all I have to do is cdio.rs. Don't worry about the program if you are not familiar with this. So all I have to do is press the play button on top. So it will compile and um, build. So I don't know if you have observed the hello world came and gone. So what I'm going to do is to see the hello world correctly, I'm going to put a breakpoint here. Um, we'll see all these things later, what's a breakpoint and all those things. So just to 
so again I press the play button now I can see um, the Visual Studio has um, executed the program which which I have written so we'll, we'll see um, the details later of this for the time being um, just I want to wanted to show you the Visual Studio IDE environment how we can uh, write a small program so a little bit more about Visual Studio as we discussed um, it is an IDE or integrated development environment so it supports uh, all all the development activities for a Microsoft Windows operating system or anything from Microsoft for that matter is done via Visual Studio so Visual Studio is the tool for development recently they have integrated even the DDK which was not part of Visual Studio um, into Visual Studio in uh, Visual Studio 2010 so this is the single most important development tool in uh, Microsoft platform so it has a lot of features huge huge number of features it has so we're gonna look at C and C++ mainly but we can develop C Sharp, VB um, all kind of languages in Visual Studio so it supports platforms like a uh, Windows Azure, SQL Server, Microsoft Office uh, Windows Phone everything pretty much um, comes from Microsoft so following are the versions uh, which have which we have in the market at the moment 2005, 2008, 2010, and 2012. So Visual Studio has um, different editions based on the pricing and the features. So Ultimate has all the features. Premier has uh, less features, not all the features of Ultimate and Professional. There is a chart in the uh, MSDN website if you want to look um, to, to see the features. So we gonna we, we will be using the Express Edition of Visual Studio which has least number of features and um, I think it has um, all we need um, for our presentations so we'll be looking at native C++ programming in Visual Studio and Microsoft platform so this is just a tip of the iceberg um, as I mentioned earlier so Visual Studio supports a lot of other things so we'll be um, debugging our C++ application with uh, Visual Studio looking at the assembly of the program to understand more about the program and building and debugging so these are some some of the misconceptions about Visual Studio so it's not a compiler or linker so compiler and linker we have it separately but just integrate compiler and linker so it's, it's not a compiler or linker it is not even a debugger um, when I say it's not a debugger um, the, we, we cannot say that Visual Studio is a debugger but the debugger is integrated with Visual Studio um, recently the integration is so tight that the binary modules are um, pretty different from the Win debug but uh, it is not good to say that it is it is a debugger. Normally IDEs integrate debugger which is a different um, module altogether. It is not .NET or .NET framework. So .NET framework is totally different thing. So it's a platform. It is not the program we are writing. The program we are writing is also something different other than Visual Studio. So program is a different EXE which we're gonna create. So don't get confused. So it's just an ID, it's a, just a notepad which we type um, type the program. All all it has is additional functionality of a notepad. So yeah, we have seen with ads. So um, we'll we'll see another um, demo which is which is kind of complicated um, just to show you the power of wizards in Visual Studio now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new project again as I did before um, in this case I have I have a lot of options as you can see this this is humongous number of options I have here a um, lot of languages 
So I'm going to select Visual C++ M of C. So in that I'm going to see uh, I'm going to select M of C application. Again, test M of C 2010. And I'm going to click OK again. So there is a lot of lot of dialog box going to come. So I can uh, I'm not going to select anything. I'm just going to click next. Lot of things coming up. It it has created a huge number of files and huge number of resources and all those things. So it's, it's a, this many files it has created. It's all boilerplate code from which I can start my development. So let's let's see the output of this. So I have pressed the play button again. So it's building that uh, big application which we have created. So this is the output of the wizard which we have seen. It's almost looking like Visual Studio itself. Look at that. Fake app class. It's a lot of things which has created. It's a humongous application. It's a GUI application actually. So nothing. I have not written any single line of code and I got this many things. So I can, it, it is easy for me to um, change this code and, you know, uh, build my my functionality into it. So all the languages like C Sharp, VB dot and all, all the ASP dot and all these languages has wizards, um, different wizards and uh, things. So following are some of the problems which we may encounter when we start Visual Studio. So it's huge. Lot of functionalities, thousands of functionalities built into it, so a lot of options. So what we're gonna do as a solution is to concentrate on one subset. And try to see videos. So Visual Studio is a configuration based application. So at the end of the day, you click here and there, uh, type something, uh, etc., etc. Some of the versions are not free, especially anything above Express is not free. But all we're gonna look at are the functionalities of Express Edition. It abstracts a lot of things. So this is where you can go from here. Um, as I discussed, there is a lot of videos up there in this particular link. Um, so I think that's it. Thank you.